The Unity fiasco is over, and they have backpedaled on almost all of their controversial changes, but their reputation has been damaged forever. While I don't blame you if you stick to Unity, I've personally always had a small interest in the Godot engine, and I always wondered what it could do, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity for me to dive headfirst into the Godot universe. So I'm here from the future. Yes, time travel exists. And I'm going to be honest, it's, it's kind of awesome. So I'm going to tell you all about my journey through the Godot game engine. My plan to learn Godot follows three key steps. First, follow a tutorial online to make a game so I can learn the basics. You, you know how tutorials go. Click and clack, follow those rules, you know. Second, I'm going to learn what I used from that video and add more things to the tutorial game with my new knowledge of stuff. Number three, determine which engine I like more. And number four, was there a number four? I, I can't remember. I don't know. So without further ado, let's get started. I found how to make a Doom clone in Godot tutorial, and I thought this was the perfect starting point for my Godot journey. There's not really much to talk about here, I kinda just followed the tutorial, listened to what the man said, did a little typey typey, little keyboard action, a little bit of clicks, but let's talk about the process. I was completely surprised at the workflow of Godot. While similar to Unity, it is quite different, and honestly, I quite like it. It feels a lot more intuitive to me in Unity, it works with like nodes as the game objects and it kind of follows this like straightforward hierarchy approach. GD script is very similar to Python and I very much like it. It's a lot more simple than C sharp and it's a lot easier for me to like figure out how things work when I'm programming. Everything just clicks. The way I would describe it if I'm gonna analogize things is kind of like the Godot engine is like building Lego and you can kind of just go there's no barrier you have no instruction manual you're, you have a big bucket and you can kind of just like psh, 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 Click, click, put things together, you know what I mean? But when it comes to Unity, it's kind of like I need a chemical analysis degree in science forensics, and I need to build a chemical formula compound to put together my own epoxy and create my own Lego bricks before I start building. Oh, these Lego bricks suck. Why do I have these Lego bricks, man? I want the good Lego bricks, you know what I mean? That's what it's like making a game in Unity. All right, so I finished the tutorial, and this is how the game looks. It's basically just a Doom clone. I can walk around, only aim horizontally. There's enemies that come at me. If I shoot them, they die. If they touch me, I die. It's very simple, not much else to it. So now I thought it was time to add my own features. So first I added a health bar, and now I made it so if an enemy touches you, the health bar reduces slowly. I also made this health pickup thing, so when you kill an enemy, they have a percentage chance of dropping a health pickup. If you touch that, then it heals you. Very simple stuff. This was in the original Doom game. Come on, guys, 1990, 80, whatever the flip, whatever time, I don't know. And boom, now your boo-boos can heal. And this was all surprisingly simple to implement. I mean, I was just shocked. It took me like half an hour to make this. But what else does a first-person shooter have? Ammunition, right? I can't just be having infinite ammo shooting people. There's no fun in infinite ammo. You gotta aim properly, you know what I mean? So I added ammo to the game. I made it very simple simple it displays ammo in the bottom right and if you shoot it reduces ammo if you run out of ammo you can't shoot you know how it goes and i didn't really put a reload function in the original doom doesn't have reloading it's just kind of like shooting i also made an ammo pickup so when you kill an enemy they'll now drop an ammo pickup and if you pick it up you'll restore your ammo and there you go that's ammo in the game health i'm already an, a professional developer you can now heal yourself you can now refill your clip or magazine for all of you cutie patooties out there but what else does a game need we need enemy variety man this is too easy they're just walking forward and it's just it's just not it bro so it's time to add the fireball enemy from doom and if you play doom you know these guys are like whoosh, they shoot fire at you so that's exactly what i'm gonna implement and this was also extremely easy to implement i just made a clone of the default enemy turned it red because it has to have a little bit of variety to it you know and then i just made this fireball sprite if it hits you it damages it shoots in your direction and then the enemies just constantly fire this thing at you and now look at that we have doom man may not be as fleshed out as cool but we have doom
Godot or Unity? And I'ma be honest, Godot all the way, baby. Give me my money, give me my, my go dots, my Godots, give it all. To me, Godot is just a lot more intuitive. I find there's less of a barrier. With Unity, it feels like I'm using an engine. Godot feels more like a painting software. I don't know how to describe it. It's just more straightforward. Of course, Unity is always gonna be the king in terms of like, it's been a thing for like 30 years or something. It's got like all the assets, all the tutorials you need. There's some advanced features. The 3D rendering's better. The animation's way better. They have the whole Unity particle system. It, there's so many things to Unity that's good. But man, Godot is just so much easier for me to use. And I just, I didn't expect I'd like Godot so much. Like, I thought this would just be a random one-off thing. You know, I like, I'm just trying it out. But I think I'm going to use this for the rest of my next development series at least. Because this is just so sick, man. So yeah, the final verdict is, for me, I like Godot more. And I'm going to use that. But for you, you can use whatever you want, man. You can use Godot. You can use Unity. Unreal. You can use use um, Roblox or something. I don't know. So thank you for joining me on this journey. Remember to subscribe, eat your yogurt, and thanks for watching. And don't worry, I didn't forget you. For all my longtime fans, yo, third year uni has been killing me, but like Devlog 2 is coming soon next week or maybe the week after, I promise. Okay, goodbye.